Hello students, welcome to the online classes of Sacred Heart High School. Today we are going to study Chapter 17, Effects of Light, Part 1. In Standard 6 Science Chapter 14, Light and Formation of Shadows, we had studied that light is composed of several colors and this was proved by Newton's disk. The Newton's disk was divided into seven petals and the petals were given colors. When the disk was rotated, all the colors disappeared and only one color was seen which was white. You must have also seen the dust particles in a beam of sunlight entering the house through a small window. We switch on the headlamps of a car when we drive through a thick fog. You might have seen the beams of those lamps. What do we really see in them? We see tiny dust particles floating in the beam. That is why we are able to see the beam or path of light. We see a variety of shades of color in the early morning and evening sky. In the photographs taken from space by satellites, the earth appears to be bluish. What is the cause of all these effects? Scattering of light. Let us do an activity. Apparatus, glass beaker, diode laser, that is the laser pointer, water, milk or milk powder, spoon, dropper, etc. Procedure, take clear water in a glass beaker, pass a beam of laser rays through it, check whether the beam is seen in the water. In this first part, we observe that light beam passes through the water, but it is not clearly seen. Now, use the dropper to add a few drops of milk to the water and stir. The water will be seen to have become slightly turbid, means it will become little opaque. Now, pass the laser beam into it again. What will you observe? You will see that a light beam will show the existence of light rays. The light beam is clearly seen in slightly turbid water. The light rays passing through the solution of milk and water hit the tiny particles of milk and get scattered. The tiny particles are opaque and that is why the rays cannot pass through them and hence they get scattered everywhere. If this scattered rays enter our eyes, we perceive the light. When the sun rises, our surroundings appear bright. This happens because of the dust and other tiny particles in the air. Atmosphere is made up of different types of gases and dust particles and water vapors as well. When the sunlight enters the atmosphere, the sunlight hits these particles and gets scattered. The sunlight does not pass through these particles because these particles are opaque. This is the scattering of sunlight by the tiny particles of the various constituents of air. Had there been no atmosphere on earth, the sky would have appeared dark during the day and of course the sun would be directly seen. Let us study more about scattering of light by doing an experiment. Apparatus, you need a table lamp with a 60 or 100 watt milky bulb thick black paper, sticking tape, a packing needle, 100 or 200 ml glass beaker, milk or milk powder, dropper, spoon, etc. Procedure Cover the mouth of the lampshade properly with black paper using sticking tape. Prick a hole of 1 to 2 mm diameter in the center of the paper with the help of a needle. Take clear water in the beaker. Light the bulb and place the beaker in contact with the hole. Observe from the front and at an angle of 90 degree. When we will observe this, you will see that the light beam is passing through the water but it is not clearly seen. Now add 2-3 to three drops of milk to the water and stir. Observe again. A few more drops of milk may have to be added to make the water turbid. When few more drops of milk are added, a blue tinge or a blue color is seen when observed along the 90 degree angle. This is the scattered blue light. Because the blue light is scattered, a red yellow light is seen from the front and the hole appears reddish. The solution of milk and water appears bluish in color because blue color is scattered more than other colors as it travels in shorter and smaller waves. 
light energy always travels in waves shorter wavelengths of light are deflected more than longer wavelength when the light beam passes through the solution of milk and water the blue color wavelength hits or interacts with larger amount of particles as the wavelength are small and so the whole solution appears bluish in color other colors like red and yellow has longer wavelength and does not interact with the particles and so only a red and a yellow dot appears from the front sunlight is scattered by the molecules of gases like nitrogen oxygen in the atmosphere the blue color in the sunlight is scattered the most as its wavelength is much smaller and it interacts with large amount of particles present in the atmosphere therefore the sky appears blue sunlight reaches us through the layer of the atmosphere at sunset the light reaching us travels a greater distance through the atmosphere due to the greater distance there is more scattering of the blue color and the blue color is mostly removed as a result the red yellow light reaches us directly and the sun appears red red light is scattered less than blue light i hope you have understood this part thank you